My name is Bridget. I am a, uh, a resident of Kansas City. I am a native Kansas City Cityan, born and bred. What do you like to do here? Um, I like to browse books and magazines and periodicals, and of course, use the computer, mm -hmm. which everyone does. When they mentioned the photo project, I said, okay, I'll go ahead and participate. I said, I'll, I figured it could be beneficial, so. Mm -hmm. I don't, no, nah, I don't have any type of artistry skills, I'll tell you that. Uh, the person could see like, like how I move about the city and like that. Just, just to capture the, me on the, on the metro bus, city transportation, because I do utilize it. I would like for people to get out of, just, just to see, not, maybe not to label people, to be accepting of everyone, to be open-minded about everybody, different lifestyles, different uh, perspectives, cultures, whatever, what have you. Know that Kansas City is all encompassing with different types of people. My name is Anastasia Fair. Um, I've been homeless since um, last July, and um, uh, I don't, uh, I've been in Kansas City half my life. I never thought of myself as an artist, and I still don't, but I, I wanted to show people what it's like to be homeless. A lot of times, like, before I was homeless, um, I'd see somebody on the corner or something, you know, and be like, oh, well, you know, just go to a shelter or something, but, I mean, it, it's, when you actually experience it, it's totally different. We spend all day long waiting. Uh, we get out of the homeless shelters at five, in, or well, the one I'm sitting at currently, we get out at five in the morning, and then the library didn't open till nine, so you're sitting there waiting for three hours, and then you gotta be back at the shelter, sign up at 3.30 in the afternoon, you know. And you gotta stay in line for lunch, you gotta stay in line for breakfast, you gotta stay in line for dinner, you gotta sign up at 3.30 for your bed, but you don't actually get your bed till five o'clock, so that's another two and a half hours. It's just so much waiting and waiting and waiting. If I won the lottery and I had a million dollars, I would like open up a day center or something, you know, just, just so they have something to do during the day. Well, my name is Michael Finney, and um from been lived in Kansas City all my life and um, moved down to uh, Kansas City Rescue Mission in July. So after being evicted from my other place of residence, which I wasn't paying any rent, I just got a reserve <clears throat> at Kansas City Rescue Mission and this entitles me to a bed for 90 days. So that's pretty good because uh, recently I've been having to sleep on the street. You know, it's not too bad sleeping outside because it's really nice out. I really don't mind, but, uh, you know, it's just nice to have a bed and feel like you're doing something responsible. They said that this is what they wanted was kind of a, pictures of go something going on in our lives, pictures of our life. You never know, you might come up with something worth displaying. What are your best abstract pictures, photographs, are the ones that aren't perfect? Well, I came out of here from a prison in 1991 for, for, for my arrest. And uh, so since 91 from here, really, I've been here in Westport area. I pretty much stay in Westport because that's what I'm familiar with. I know how violence can be. I've never been stabbed, never been shot. Well, spray gun, but that kind of hurt. But other than that, I've survived to 60 years old. I'm comfortable with the sky and watching it at night or getting a little bit wet, but not too cold. Some people don't know I'm a good person because I look like a homeless person getting drunk. I'm trying to get that kind of view of me in Westport area and the people that are working here. I don't believe I'm going to teach anybody. I believe they're going to teach themselves. Um, I think I'd much as much rather start getting people that more contribute into like uh, talking about it. Because I think more people are going to be more interested in going a little bit farther than just a picture. Because it's not so much me, but the homelessness and the people that do care about people on the streets and what they can do to help and what they can't. It just goes from one person thinking about talking to some other people. It's not me to go tell everybody out here, hey, out the window so you can see me. It's the people that can see it themselves and talk to other people about it. I uh, was born up in Omaha, Nebraska. So when I was born to 59. I was married back in 1986. My wife was a uh, surgical nurse up here. In fact, she put me back together back in 84. After industrial accident, I was in Open Garden City, Kansas. I was making almost $2,200 a week to bring home. And I went down to uh, probably four to 500 with overtime. My son was a police officer here, killed in the line of duty, lost a lot of family. 
Adventures in photography work way back in the day, back in the uh, late 90s. Nothing planned, nothing, you know, pick point, perfect. I basically was trying to show people out there in the real world, not just homeless or stranded, which I consider myself, is bad. It could be worse, it could be a lot worse, but we keep striving to gain a foothold and better ourselves. My name is Sammy Collins. Uh, originally a small town in south central Missouri called West Plains. Came up here in December for uh, medical reasons. I, I fell in love. This is, this is home to me now. I've always been a fan of photography. I, love, I like taking pictures. I, I had my own camera when I was down home. I, most of my photography was uh, racing. Uh, dirt track racing, that's what that's, was my big interest back then. I wait for that perfect shot when act, in all actuality, the best shot is those impromptu, you know, spur of the moment ones that usually come out the best. The people, I hope they can see what we see through our eyes on a daily basis. I, I tried to capture the moments where uh, for homeless people, that are important to them, or at least important to me. Uh, I love architecture, and Kansas City is so full of old buildings that are being renovated and things, and uh, the, the old signage painted on some of the buildings is starting to fade away now. I'm originally, I was born in, in Joplin, so I'm, I'm an Ozark hillbilly, basically, and I call myself a crispy, a Christian hippie. I'm an angstivist. I'm not just an activist. I have angst. And the way that I get out my angst a lot of times is I go sing karaoke. My first idea of Kansas City was when I joined the uh, Army Reserves. I remember coming up in 1979 and just staring, gawking at all the skyscrapers. I had never seen skyscrapers before. I was trying to capture life of a homeless person. How does a homeless person survive? So I caught pictures of campfires, um, laundry lines strung up between trees. I think one shot was a guy that had a lot of burdens on his back, just tons of backpacks and bags and all that. And I guess I was trying to capture how hard it is sometimes to be homeless. The not all homeless people are drunks or addicts or the refuse of society. I want them to come away with a sense that, that we're people too.